Okay, so I believe I'm live on Facebook. Hello, everybody. Oh, I haven't looked up the dates as to when the astrology will be. Where's my diary? Is. Let's have a look. Oh. my diary. Let's have a look. Oh. oh my diary. Seconds. Shush. Right. Why is that it's not coming out? Shush. It came out on the other, it's not on Google, it came out on the other one, which was um, Explorer, I think. That was a bit bizarre. Sorry, guys. Okay, got it. We sorted it. It's like, you know, when you turn everything else off on your Google, you know, all your tabs on Google, I turned all that off and it was still coming through. So, yeah, it was the other one. It came from the other one. Anyway, let's have a look and see what's on the diary. So, I'm sorry that I didn't do astrology last week. I was ill. Um, and this is the first time I've gone live since. Um, I had to have an ambulance out. Um, well, basically, um, I've got a double um, hiatus hernia. And um, most of the time I can get by. I understand what I need to do in order to for it not to... Um, get painful. I understand I have to do very small meals and, you know, I have to do all of that, which is fine. But um, for no apparent reason whatsoever, it just decided to flare up big time. Um, but I didn't know that's what it was. And for a start, it could have been me having a bloody heart attack because it felt as if my, my heart was um, being pushed and I couldn't breathe. Um, so, yeah, anyway, what you know, what happened was they came out, um, the paramedics, I think Greg did a big shout out, um, asking for healing from everybody. The paramedics said that um, I needed to go into hospital to have some tests before they could give me any pain relief, unless I was in the ambulance going over to the hospital, in which case they would have given me some morphine. Um, but I'd have gone over to the hospital and I could have been sat in the waiting room. As anybody knows, in the UK, this is how it is. You could have been sitting in, in a, on a hard chair in the waiting room for seven hours, up to seven hours. OK, sometimes more. But you could be sat there on a hard chair in that much, much excruciating pain. Yeah, they would have given me some morphine, but still. So um, my normal pain wouldn't have been able to put up with that, let alone that. So anyway... I decided, um, as I was talking to the ambulance people, one of which I knew and I'd done readings for, she said, I know you. And I said, I can't see your face, so I don't know. So she pulled her mask down and um, just briefly. So I, you know, I, I recognized her. I'd done readings for her in the shop when she was in a dilemma over whether to stay in a relationship or whether to, to leave. So that was very lovely to see, to see her. And she was so lovely with um, the other ambulance driver. And as I was talking to them, they was doing all the tests, the heart monitoring tests, and um, my blood pressure was sky high, obviously, because the pain was sky high. Um, as that was happening, I think all of the healing from everybody kicked in because my pain levels just went down. Like, I can't believe how I was that bad. And I went from, from that 
like a, a pain of when they say what's your pain level and I said it's a nine I'm used to pain I'm really used to it I'm used to it every single day people know me so it was it was bad um anyway it went right down to probably six five six so that's due to all of your lovely healing and I just want to say thank you really um thank you so much so anyway um I managed to get by without having to go to the hospital because I really didn't want to go um because all they're going to do is say yes you've got um double hernia and there's nothing we can do go away and lose weight um and then we'll operate on you well every, anybody out there who has got a problem with their weight it's not as easy as just saying okay I can just lose weight just like that so anyway Is it working now? Let's turn it back on. Sometimes, okay, so I think my microphone went off just now, but I think it's back on again. Yeah, so anyway, um, that's why I couldn't do the astrology readings because like, it took me a, you know, a few days until probably now before I've actually felt um, more of myself again. Um, I've had to cancel readings and I'm really sorry that people have had to kind of reschedule, rebook. Um, everyone's been so kind about it. So I'm really, you know, very, very grateful um, to that. Um, so yeah, um, that was my drama. <laughs> um, I don't like those dramas. So this reading, these readings will be from the 1st of May through to, yeah, 1st of May through to the uh, 9th of May, which is 9th of May. Let me just write this down. Otherwise, I will have to keep looking it up. So, 1st of May through to the 9th of May. Got it. Okay, so um, I don't suppose there's, I mean, there might be some people still in America that might be up. Um, let's go back, <clears throat> have a little look. Refresh the page. Oh, 11 comments already. Oh my goodness, there are people awake. So let's mute that. Mute. Okay, so let's say hello to some people. Hello, Tarika. Hello, Lisa. Um, hello, Trisha. I am feeling much, much better. Yeah, I've got a few niggles at the moment, but it's yeah I can cope with niggles thank you is my love no oh, hello my darling oh um Trisha my dad had two hernias at different times he had surgery twice he put second one off for so long put one off they won't even offer it to me mine a giant the the, per, the surgeon said he'd never seen such big hernias that's and they're both, there's two of them. So, hello, Lisa. Hello, Antonia. Yeah. Hello, Sharon. So, it's your granddaughter's birthday, I just saw, I just kind of had a look at your page. So, um, that was lovely. Oh, it came up on my feed. So, so yeah, so. I'm going to do the little raffle um, first of all, okay, before I do the astrology. So um, if you don't know what this is, once a month I offer, um, just for being part of my mailing list, I offer um, just a little raffle just to say thank you um, to the people that are on the mailing list. Um, 
I promise I don't hound, hound people. I just send an email every now and again. In fact, I should send more often than I don't um, to let people know. Um, so if anybody would like to, um, to join that hasn't put their name down for the, ref, for the uh, mailing list, please just inbox me your, um, just say yes, you would like to on here and then I'll quickly add you to this raffle. Um, and then just email me or inbox me your email address and then I'll add you there. Yeah, so how is everybody? What's been happening in your lives? <laughs> That's all new. Um, yeah, subtitles at the bottom there. I've not seen that before. Yeah. So yeah, how's your days been? So for the East USA Eastern, it's 9 p.m., isn't it? Because I've got a clock here that's got Greg's time on it, and I've got a clock there that's got our time on it. So yeah quite because I'm running on both <laughs> oh that's your mother's day is it next weekend so going to visit Olivia and Stephanie next weekend for mother's day can I turn the subtitles off do I want to turn them off is that is that getting on people's nerves it might be useful for people who are trying to look for you know, their star sign, maybe. I don't know. So we have Mother's Day in March. Um, and our Father's Day is in June. Yeah. So, okay. Um, so, Tricia, let me see if you're on the list. Let me have a little look. I think you are. Yeah, Trish, I've got you. I've got you on there. Yes. Yes. Oh, they can do it themselves. They can turn off their um, subtitles. Oh, that's good. Oh. That's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. So, so if there is anybody, I don't suppose there is because most people are sleeping. Um, okay. So let's do the raffle then. Okay. So the raffle prizes today are going to be um, the Rider Weight Tarot. So the very, the, the oldest kind of tarot that you would know. Okay, so the right away. So Ace of Cups. Okay, that's to me like a little cloud with an, a cup and that's to do with emotional doubt. Um, this is letting go, walking away. So he's got all the cups here, but he's turned his back on emotions. Um, this one is to do with kind of um, having it all, enjoying the family, enjoying that, feeling very rich in the family. And um, these are the Ten of Cups. Um, so the Knight of Cups. To me, I saw that one as my um, Scorpio because it's like the knight in shining armor. They can be very romantic, um, but equally they can say, I'm not going to give you this unless, you know, it's like the knight thing. I'm not going to give you this unless I can see that you want, want me so the Ace of Pentacles, um, new money. There you've got kind of um, money is a bit hard at the moment. That's a bit tough. You know, so you can see they are, you can definitely do readings with them. Um, the right away. They're not my favourite, but a lot of people um, swear by them. Um, they're the most recognised recognized tarot cards. So that is... Um, that is what the raffle prize 
is that one. Um, so you can choose the raffle or you can choose this bracelet. Okay, so there's a bracelet there as well. Okay, so if you like a bit of bling, it's a bracelet. Okay, so, um, and then I was gonna do kind of like a mystery gift um, there as well. So three prizes and you can choose. So, um, oh, thank you for my hearts. Oh, that's my love. Am I on the list? Uh, Amanda Price, let's have a look. Amanda Bishop. Was you, have you got another name on your, um, in your email, is it, it's not Amanda Marie, is it? Amanda Marie? If it's not, then I haven't got you. Just going through it. Yeah, I've got Amanda Bishop and Amanda Marie. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello. <laughs> Let me move this. Okay, so I'll add I'll add you on to there. So you will be, Amanda, you will be number 72. Okay. Your number is number 72. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to add you in there. So, somebody's advice. Um, I'm just doing stickers on little pebbles um, like that. And then they go in this bag. So, there you go, you're in. So is there anybody else who wants to be part of the raffle before I do it? Obviously, you can choose which one you want. My hair looks a bit scruffy. Um, you know, it looks fine in the mirror and then you go live and you think, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Jenny Smith, you'd like to be... You just... Um, what I can do is I can just um, add you to it and then you just send me your email address later. Um, so I'll do the same with you, Elizabeth. So Jenny, Jenny Smith, you are number 73. And let's make sure Elizabeth, Elizabeth, I've got you on there. I've definitely got you on there. Let's have a look at Jenny. Jenny Smith, I haven't got you, Jenny. So Elizabeth Badger, um, you are number 67. So you don't pay, it's free. It's, this is a free one. Um, this is just to say thank you for being on the mailing list, basically. So, so yeah, that's it. So Jenny Smith is number 73. So I'm going to put it on a pebble and it goes in the back. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do the raffle now. Okay. So it's up to you which prize you, you have. Okay. So this is the first one. 46, 46, let's have a look and see who is 46. My eyesight isn't great. Where's 46? 46, it's Stacy. 
Stacey MC. So that is for you, Stacey. So I'll find out what Stacey wants as a prize, um, but I'll keep pulling them um, just to see. See what the others are. So, okay, so this is the next prize. Um, this is 27. 27 is uh, Rosa Rosalie Drayton. Rosalie Drayton. I don't think she's here tonight, but she's number 27. So that's the second one. And then the third one is number 14. Number 14, which is Mafelda takes it takes a I can't even pronounce her name so let me write this down okay so the third prize is number 14 that is Mafelda and the second prize was who was that hi Vera I can't believe you're up because you're later than me. You're half past three or 20 past three. Rosalie Drayton, 27. Rosalie Drayton. And the first one was Stacy, wasn't it? 46 was Stacy MC. Yeah. Oh. So as soon as I know who, you know, obviously Stacy gets first uh, choice and then whatever's left is Rosalie and whatever else is, um, whatever else they didn't want will go to Mafelda. So here we are. I like that. Um, I'm starting up another raffle. I'll just tell you about it. So that one is obviously the free one but obviously I've got others going and I will show you what they are there. make sure they don't get mixed up with the others <laughs> things you've done <laughs> um right where was it okay so the other raffle which is a pound or if you're outside the U UK then it is um two dollars And let's get this ready. So you have um, the gilded tarot, which are beautiful, and I'll show you those. <clears throat> I'll show you those in a minute, the gilded tarot. Or you have a choice of, oh, don't knock anything over any, two different crystal balls. So you have, the glass crystal ball. I've done this before, but isn't that lovely? So that one. So that's a choice. And or the um, Labradorite. Okay, I don't know if you can see all the the glittery bits in there. So yeah, so so you there is two main prizes um, for this one, okay? Um, two main prizes. So it will be um, either one of those crystal balls, or crystal ball and the tarot. Okay, so there is there's two prizes and there's three choices. Okay, so that's how that goes. And obviously, then I do a couple of the um, the mystery prizes as well. So. So there, so I don't know if anybody wants to have a go at that raffle, this one, but this one is the paid one. Um, so this one is a pound um, or it is, um, yeah, $2 if outside the, the US, the UK, sorry. So what's this talked with a friend and forgot about the time, it's her Enzo and Spirit. 
who would celebrate his 10th if he was still uh, on the earth. Oh, that's, uh, that's upsetting, isn't it? It's good that she's got you though, Vera, isn't it? What the bracelet? Uh, what you mean the bracelet I've just, Elizabeth, you mean the bracelet that I just um, did, or do you mean the, these bracelets that I make? Um, feng Shui ones, the Pixu. No, this is a brand new one, Tricia. So it's literally brand new. Okay, so because there's two main prizes, um, I can add that into this raffle. I can add that in as a choice. Um, also, I can do that. That's another choice. Let me go and have. Sorry. Be two seconds. Oh my goodness. I started doing these. So they are Feng Shui. They are these. Let me get myself straight. How do you pay? You pay by um, power, uh, PayPal. Um, so that's guiding angels at btinternet.com or um, you can go to the website psychicalli.net. So I've also been making these, which are the Feng Shui necklaces. So they're kind of like long necklaces, but they've got a lot of uh, the good positive energy going through them because you've got the, the Feng Shui beads and they're mixed with the black obsidian beads as well. There's quite a lot of black obsidian. Um, so yeah, they are the, there. So I'll add that in as well. So it's a choice of two. You get um, two of the um, either either crystal ball, Labr um, the, uh, yeah, the, the clear one or the labradite one or the tarot cards or the, necklace bracelet okay so yeah <clears throat> oh thanks Vera put that on there you are a darling okay let me go back see who right so Trisha I'll put yours down so you want four numbers so number 19 Trisha. Yep. Thank you, Trisha. It just, I'll go to paper now. You'd like four tickets. Do you want to choose the numbers? Or do you want me to pick the numbers for you? Obviously, the only numbers that have gone so far are the ones that Trish has just put there which is 19, 4, 9, and 22. No, you want me to choose. Okay, so four, four tickets. Let's do it in a different colour my colored pen oh thank you i just received that trisha thank you for that okay so so four numbers for elizabeth i'm feeling 30 for you elizabeth and 28 48 and 23 
So Elizabeth, you've got 23, 28, 30 and 48. There you go. That's for you. Thank you for that. So, so gilded. And necklace. Okay. So, hello, Vanessa. Just joining in. I see it's a raffle, but unsure about price per ticket number. Oh, yeah. I'm doing a raffle and I'm then doing the astrology. Um, so, the tickets uh, for this, for this raffle, is um, a pound or it's $2. OK, so if you're outside the UK, then it will be two dollars. OK, or the equivalent of. Um, yeah, so um, the prizes are you've got a choice of um, there are um, a two main prizes and the main prizes are these. So you've got the crystal clear crystal ball. It's a beautiful stand. Um, you've got Labradorite crystal ball or the Gilded Tarot, or the Necklace, Feng Shui Necklace, or the Feng Shui Bracelet with the Pixie. So, yeah, so two are the main prizes and then you get um, one of the smaller prizes. They're the smaller prizes, okay? So what I do is I write it, write it out really on the chat so it makes it clearer. No, you're not Vera, not at the moment. Um, because this is brand new, brand new raffle that started tonight. Yeah. So before I start to do the astrology, I'm gonna make myself a quick drink. Um, and then, yeah, so there's lots of prizes. Two random numbers, Vera. Okay, Vera, you're number one. Number 11. There you go. <laughs> I like these raffles too. I think they're fun. It's something to, to look forward to, isn't it? Hi, Elaine. Good to see you. Okay. Oh, let's make myself a drink. So what has been happening with everybody today? What has your day been like? And what birth signs have we got also? Hello, Elaine. Well done, Elaine, for all the hard work you're doing and all the success. Elaine's doing really well with the readings, aren't you Elaine? So really pleased with, with that and you should be too. Amazing. Yeah, so what birth signs are you all? Been a good day for Elizabeth. A quiet weekend so far. Oh, thank you, Vera. I got that. I think you just paid for three, though, did you? I think you paid for three.
Vera, you said two, didn't you? I would like two random numbers, but you just gave me more money than that. What did you do? Uh, did you pay for something else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gemini and Aquarius moon. Ah. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. That's lovely. So Vanessa, what numbers did you pick, Vanessa? Have I put yours down? Because I can't remember putting yours down. How many now? How many numbers do you want, Vanessa? <laughs> oh, I see, Vera. <laughs> It's easy to do. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to have my hair back. Oh my goodness. My honestly, I've missed my extensions. I know I shouldn't. And it's an expensive thing to do, but my goodness, I love it. I feel very feminine when I've got my hair long. I feel all goddessy. Um, so I'm really happy. So if anybody wants their hair extensions done in the UK and who lives near me, um, I can highly recommend Lisa Hill. She's brilliant. She's really, really good and very affordable. Really. Um, so, yeah, if you want your hair done and you want it, you want your extensions. I've got a mixture of two actually in. Um, <laughs> which is not usual usually you have nanos or you have um you know the tapes you want six i can i can pick yeah i can pick you six no problem vanessa do you want me to pick the numbers for you or do you want to pick them mm -hmm. I'm rocking already. <laughs> you want me to pick? No problem. Okay. So, what colour shall I do, Vanessa? You can be orange, Vanessa. Okay. So, number 15. I've not noticed your name before. You might be, are you new? 34, Vanessa? Number 29. You're wearing orange. That's funny, isn't it? or not. <laughs> <clears throat> Love it. So what am I doing? Six on I so one, two, three, three more. Um, number 50. And number five. And one more. Number 40. There you go. So just to recap, you've got number five, number 15, 29, 34, 40, and 50. Here we go. Right, I better get on with this. Um, Astrology, hadn't I? Okay. <clears throat> we'll put these crystal balls. Ooh. Over there. In case I knock and go. Isn't that beautiful though? It's just so lovely. Get up with the lights. So pretty.
the gilded tarot. I'll come on <clears throat> another few times to see who else wants to be on this uh, raffle. Sort of my heat bed. Okay, um, so just quickly some of the things that are going on. Um, so I've still got my offer at the moment for readings. Um, if you wanted a reading at the moment, you just book in, and the hour reading is now uh, 90 minutes, so you get an extra half an hour um, worth of reading. And um, that means that you can do more in depth of a reading or you can add in um, a love life reading or a financial reading at the same time, you know, so um, it's entirely up to you. Um, so that's that's on, on the offer. There's also um, psychic counselling is on offer still as well. Um, so you can also kind of make uh, the most of that. Um, have a look so all the things I do um there's the rebook so if you've already had a reading with me or you have been to a class or something like that then there is ten dollars off um the the reading so for rebooks um I do a two-hour reading which literally covers absolutely everything we can go um it depends how many questions you have um but you know usually we can do at least six months future in depth OK, so that goes into love life, finances, jobs, work, family, um, anything you can think of. OK, it's a two hour uh, reading um, and that's one hundred and fifty dollars. Um, so, yeah, they're 90, 90 minutes, the um, the one hour readings. And um, 30 minute readings. Um, are fifty dollars. So if you wanted um, just a 30 minute reading that basically gives you two months in depth usually but like I said it depends some people want want more uh, questions they want to ask specific questions which is fine um, in which case then it depends on how long I mean I always go over anyway um, but it depends how long that takes so um, if you just want kind of like a straight reading then it's usually two, two months for future um, and you get three predictions a month um, within those predictions, each each um, like three um, e each stage, you get um, a financial prediction, a general prediction, and a love prediction, um, and that's three times a month. Um, career or life path reading. So, if you feel as if you don't know what your life path is, or you know, I've been able to channel through and get through to your spirit guides. Um, and um, together we can usually with with both energies we can usually find out what that is um, and help you with that with life path uh, mindfulness um, creating an affirmation so uh, we create a spell basically so I get my spell kit out and uh, we have a pinch of this herb pinch of that herb um, I make it all up for you um, we create an affirmation for you to say um, and a little ritual um, Basically, I then put some of your spell into a resin, which is like a pendant. And then I send that over to you with your spell and um, with the candle and everything that you need for your spell. OK, so um, you can book in for that. Um, it usually does take about an hour because we do all the affirmations with it and everything. Um, although I could do it, I should really put an extra extra one on there for a quick one I could probably do a quick one so let me write myself a little little message um mindfulness 30 min so I'll do a 30 min one as well um 30 minutes is 50 dollars um so I could do love life readings so that's where we go into the ins and outs of that and then we basically see how your love life progresses and what um, sometimes it get, it steers you into what to look out for uh, when e each one of you will be more sensitive than the other. Um, what what you might need to do in order to get their attention if they're not um, giving you that attention, or it could be that 
you know, there's somebody else coming in and that you didn't know. Do you see what I mean? So, yeah, it's a love life reading. Psychic counselling sessions. Um, they are only $60 at the moment. Usually $100, so $20 off. Um, sorry, usually $80, it's $20 off. Um, so if you're feeling blocked and you feel as if, you know, sometimes doctors take ages to get you an appointment for psychic counselling, um, and this way you can, um, you know, we, we can go into it. We can use law of attraction. We can use all sorts of different techniques to get you through whichever uh, problem or obstacle that is in your way. I'm not saying it's a miracle, but we definitely, me and my guides definitely work really hard to get you past um, some very severe kind of um, blocks, you know, that, that you might have. Um, help to make a decision. So sometimes I see a double pathway. It's like if you go in this direction, this is what happens. If you go in this direction, this is what happens. This can be for decision making, um, but it can also be, um, you know, what, where do you, where do you see your life going? You know, uh, you know what what would be the better path? Um, and just a mini reading. I just do a mini twenty minute reading if anybody would like that. Um, psychic development one to one. If you wanted psychic development um, and you don't like coming to groups, then literally you can just book up. Um, a one to one psychic development is probably as as uh, as much as a, an hour, a, a whole day workshop, I could get you through um, and teach you within an hour session. That doesn't necessarily include tarot because tarot, there's 78 cards to get through. So I don't think I'd be able to do that. Um, but definitely half the deck I could get you through um, within a one hour, one-to-one -one session. It does include an extra 10 minutes for consultation. Um, a mini psychic development as well, do that. Past life regression, cord cutting, getting rid of bad karma. Sometimes people have um, karmic pathways that just they are really stuck with. Um, they need to get, get past, it, it could be like they could do in a rerun all the time, going back to an ex or um, going back to a destructive kind of fi a family feud uh, it goes round and round and round and sometimes it sometimes we have to go back to when it started and we can do that via it's called psychic hypnosis we can go back and and um, do that or sometimes it might be a childhood thing um, in which case we need to go back and pick up where that child uh, was missing or lost um, cutting the cord to an ex or unhealthy um, attachments and that includes entities and things like that we can do that as well um, so past life regression is similar um, to the cord cutting, but the cord cutting with the with the entity, there's uh, it. You could book either one of those basically, and just tell me what the problem is, and we could go into that. Also, I do gift vouchers. So basically, if you book an hour, it means that they can choose what they want. Okay, it doesn't matter. So they choose whatever they wish for that gift voucher. And um, for that's either an hour or it's for 30 minutes. And there are, there's money off those as well. So anyway, it's enough about my stuff. <laughs> but Greg tells me off for not promoting myself. Um, so I thought I'd better. He's trying to help me, bless him, because he really believes in me. And um, he's just so lovely. I love him to pieces. Are you still there? Greg, my baby. I can't wait to be with him. I really can't. It's um, he's wanted to get this operation so badly, and the doctors are just dragging their feet. Um, so frustrating. Okay, right. So, um, bits and pieces about Greg. He's got some ladies' t-shirts. Um, on sale at the moment for ten dollars. They were fifteen. Now they're ten. Ten dollars. So ladies' t-shirts. They are the slim fit t-shirts. So make sure that you you um, take that into account. So if you want them a bit bigger, then you need to order bigger size up. Okay for those. Um, 
also if you wanted to you know his t-shirts are made um with with um quartz crystal sand um they're amazing um which as you know has got huge um energy to it um he also puts crystals in his sorry okay, I just want to just join in um he also um puts in crystals into each of the chakras um for that um, if you wanted to support Greg with uh, becoming a Patreon, Patreon uh, member, you can go to patreon.com forward slash in 5D and you can join for as little as $1.11 a month. I am going to be starting Patreon myself um, and speaking to Greg about it. And I, because I would love to do some more free tutorials, but you have to kind of balance it out and you have to think to yourself, I don't know whether I can do this. You know, it's all about energy, isn't it? So um, that's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, and I'll obviously come on live and discuss what that means. Okay. Um, what I'm going to be offering. Okay. Um, and you can also go to our club, um, the In5D club, which is in5d.club. Um, and that is to join and chat with like-minded um, in 5D people, people that are open. Um, so you might find your love on there. Um, so yeah, so I think that's it. So I'm gonna get started, believe it or not now. Um, yeah, there's Mo, <laughs> he, has to, he has to come up and have a look. He's got the sneezing fits at the moment. I don't know why, he just keeps sneezing. Okay. So we're going to start off with who's on here? Who's who's a who did I see? Gemini. We've got a Gemini. 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 So we've got two Geminis. Perhaps we will start with air signs tonight. Then we will start with air signs. Okay. Who's Mo? All right, darling. You're going to join in, are you? And a Virgo and a Cancer. Damn, I can't read them, love. Needs to be balanced between paid and free stuff. Yeah, and there's a Leo. Okay, we've got a Leo. Okay, and we've got an Aries with Vera. So we've got a quite a mixture, actually, haven't we? Okay, he wants a treat. Can I just give him a treat, guys? I'm really sorry to keep hanging about. Um, but that's what he's waiting for. He's waiting for this. Okay, I'm coming as quick as I can. Bless him. If you can see this, he's coming. <laughs> Yeah, he's at his treat now, he's happy. With cats, it is all about kind of stomach love, isn't it? Yeah, so El Elaine, you are a Leo, Aquarius and an Aquarius, okay. Hmm. Okay, do you not have any more Momo? Let me piglet. Okay, well, if I could actually see you, I'd be able to start this reading now. Great. Finished now? Have you tried uh, Lick Licks for cats? No, I haven't tried that. No. He's trying to drink my water sitting there. It's not water out in the kitchen, not starved. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with um, with the water, the um, air signs. Okay, and then we'll go on from that. So we're going to start with, where do we start? Aquarius. Okay, so the Aquarius people out there, here we go. 
let's see what's going on with you. So it is the 1st of May through to, what did I say, the 9th of May, okay? So the 1st through to the 9th. Right. Okay, so there's somebody around you who's going to get on your last nerve, okay? Um, and it is linked around your home. Um, okay, there's two. Okay, so for some of you, it's going to be linked around your home, and you're going to feel as if you just want to let go and walk away. You've had enough. I'm done. Don't want to do this anymore. Um, it's all about playing games. It's all about kind of going around in circles and a game being played. And it's like it's it, the game has got boring. OK, so for some of you now, for others of you, it won't be to do with your home, but it will be that you want to go to your home to get away from this emotional kind of roller coaster um, situation. Um, it's about somebody keep letting you down. Uh, somebody saying, I'm going to do this or we're going to do this. or I promise this. And it's like nothing happens. It's always the same thing. There's always an excuse or everything else. So um, this is going to be um, really difficult for some of you to do um, because part of you as, as is saying, but you know, you're making excuses basically. You know, partly that's what you're saying. You're saying, yeah, but you know, they've been through a lot, or you know, um, you know, could woulda shoulda. At the end of the day, we can keep saying all these excuses. Um, and they, sooner or later, it's like, would you do the same to them? Would you treat them the same way? Even if you were stressed, even if you were emotional, would you? That's what you have to ask yourself um, before, you know, keep making excuses. Because sometimes, you know, if it's, if it's one off, it's one off. But if it keeps happening, it's not necessarily a one off then, is it? Okay. So um, the temperance is needed, um, the balance, OK, trying to get the balance right, trying to make um, everybody happy. So um, sometimes we have to decide um, on a strategy. OK, do I make a big scene in front of everybody or do I wait until I can have a word with them um, one to one later? You know, what do I do about this? It feels as if um, the, the you know when your emotions are kind of all in a, all in a, like a whirlpool of emotions going round and round and round, um, and you can't see a way forward. Well, I will say that by the middle of the week, that's going to help how it starts. But the middle of the week, you're going to start to look at um, future stuff. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? It's like start dreaming big. Stop looking at life as in the people around you now, start spreading your wings and start saying, right, I'm not going to be stuck here in a month's time, in a in a three months time and six months time, because I've got a bigger plan. And I, it, this will be insignificant to me because I'm going to be flying off in this direction or my life's going to be so busy and so jam packed with adventure um, that I really won't care. Um, so that's how you're going to be um, Aquarian people, um, it's going to feel as if you you are freer. OK, so and by the end of the week, um, end of the week, it's like nothing matters really um, to you. Um, I can see a bit of reminiscing about the past with somebody very special to you. Um, this person is, um, I think, quietly, um, they've got quiet feelings for you. So it's like, you know how they feel about you, but you're not sure, you're not sure what, how you feel. You're not sure what you're going to do, okay, um, regarding their feelings. Um, it's like you're going to be kind of letting everybody, letting everybody kind of go into, you know, their own decisions, their own choices. You know, it's like, Whatever comes of it will come of it. I'm not going to make any decisions. So uh, sometimes it's like we've got to let our feelings develop or not. Um, you know, people, people sometimes they fall in love slowly. Um, it's not always about instant love, is it? Okay, by the end of the week, I'm seeing a pregnancy announcement. 
because I feel as if somebody's going to be talking about pregnancy. Uh, for some of you, it will be pregnancy. For others of you, it will be somebody starting a new business or you starting a new business. OK, because it's kind of like everything is ripe and ready. OK, and um, they are indicating that you just have to watch out for somebody who's not as they seem to be. Um, it's like somebody's trying to tell you about a good deal that they've got going on at the moment. And you know what it's like if it's too good to be true, it usually is too good um, full stop. So just be aware um, of, of somebody. I don't feel as if they're a complete scammer, but they they get involved with get rich quick things all the time. And then they think they've had a little bit of luck with it and then they want to spread it all to other people. OK, so there you go. That's Aquarius. Right. Okay, so we're now going to do Gemini. Oh, this is something, everybody. I thought these would help. Oh, where are they? I'm trying to, I've got a little thing going. I've done these so people then know what I'm who I'm reading for, but I can't find my little things. There it is, there's one. Ha! Ah, this is what I wanted. Okay. So I need a box or something. Is that that high? Is that that high? A box. Not very pretty. Right, so let's go into this. So that was Aquarius. So I'm now going to be reading for Gemini. So I thought if I do that, um, Still not, still not tall enough. <laughs> That's better, isn't it? Hey. Okay. So Trish said, I actually asked out loud for a sign about someone. Then your live came on in seconds later. Aha. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do Gemini's next. <laughs> I know, very simple. <laughs> so Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Okay, let's see what's going on with you. And again, I'm telling my guys the 1st of May uh, through to the 9th of May 2021 for Gemini's, Gemininians. Okay. Okay, so we're starting off with the Ace of Cups for you. Um, so this is about a new way of um, of love or a new feeling of love um, around you. So sometimes our emotions rise to the surface and um, we try and make sense of them. Sometimes love doesn't make sense, you know. Um, we get to meet people in our lives that we have a connection with. Um, and sometimes it's at not good times. Sometimes it is at times that we feel are very inconvenient. Um, but sometimes the universe has something else to say about that. And uh, I think this is going to be one of those times. There's going to be strong feelings around you, Gemini's, the beginning of um, next week. This is going to result in your mind going um, into overdrive because it feels as if you're going to have um, lots of ideas 
um, inspired moments of clarity, um, making decisions about um, your life, okay? Or having to really think about your life. Are you happy? Is this what you want? Is life what you expected it to be? Can you see yourself here in five years time, three years, two years? Can you see that? Okay, so going into the financial side of your life, I feel that there will be um, some choices linked with finances. Um, it feels as if you have um, got to pick what it is that you're going to concentrate on um, regarding um, like work and um, also to do with, you know, the skills that you have. Are you actually using the right skills for the right reasons? Um, you know, is there skills that could be used um, for um, that would make you happy to use? You know, what is it that you what is it you're going to do about? Okay, at this time, choices and choices and choices, decisions and decisions. Now, for some of you, the emotional choices that I was speaking about they could be linked with a family member or a friend. Um, they don't have to be linked with love life, okay? Um, sometimes it's all about um, who, who is loyal to you and, you know, who's not. You know, do you want to carry on doing, playing emotional games with somebody when you feel as if it's just a pull and a tug kind of um, emotional situation that you could do without, okay? So, so yeah. There is a bit of a gamble. It's like what to do for the best to do with your finances, though, after some brilliant ideas have come into your mind. OK, your mind is in a well and everything is um, it's like it's throwing up everything that you could ch possibly change in your life um, and how you would go about doing that and making decisions. OK. Um, your spiritual side is going to get a lot stronger over the next week or so, Gemini's. Very much, um, there's a very much in need of you um, to grow, to allow your psychic energy um, to get stronger. Okay. Now, I've got to show you these cards because it's very interesting. Um, so, this is the Lightseer's Tarot um, by, um, well, I don't know who by, but anyway, Lightseer's Tarot. They're beautiful. Um, so you've got the six of pentacles, which is what I picked up just now, which is about you've got to pick one of the gifts that you've that you've got that you aren't using um, and see where you go with it. And then we've also got this one. Um, now, this one is is about the, the seed that you chose will start to grow. So this is the seven of pentacles, which is about, you know, nurturing all of those gifts that you've got um, and watching and seeing that this is actually going to start reaping some re results um, very, very soon for you, Gemini's. Um, so I feel that you're going to be you're going to be definitely on um, in good energy um, to do with money, finances, work matters, um, career matters. It's like you know whatever you've been concentrating on money wise is definitely going to start to pay off. Okay, this is what I meant by the ideas. Look at the ideas coming out. Um, all of these ideas, these ping moments. And also, there's fun. It's like you you feel as if you need to have more fun, um, you know, dance around your living room um, on your own or with somebody. It just feels as if it's, it's like, you know, bring out that inner child because the inner child has been far too serious and... Uh, I think you've had enough of serious for a long time, for, you know, for uh, for a while you could do with you just, um, you know, letting your hair down. OK, so. So, yeah, that's what I see for you guys in, in Gemini's. OK. Right, so then it's Libra. It's Libra now. out my Gemini.
Oh, that's okay, Elizabeth. Obviously, a reading with astrology, I'm reading for a lot of people. Um, so it isn't as precise as it would be if I was reading for the individual person. So if you was having a reading with me, um, it, it would be more accurate, more uh, precise, like I said. But obviously astrology, you've got a kind of, and sometimes I'm seeing two scenarios that would be linked to um, different types of um, Librans or different types of uh, Geminis. change my cards over so Libra um, so I'm um, I've got Libra <clears throat> Libra rising and my lovely Greg is um, triple Libra so so yeah so he's a triple Libra and I've got Libra rising so I think somebody in here said there was a Libra didn't they who said there was a Libra Oh, I've just seen your message here, Vera. I'm extremely happy Miss Charmingly is finally eating a little more than she needs and is putting on some weight. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so there was Aquarius. I thought I saw a Libra. Maybe I didn't. Okay, so... Let's just have a quick, quick look at Libra. OK, so this is for my love, Greg Prescott. This is for you, for me as well. And for all the other Librans out there. He's there. Yes, I'm thinking about you. I love you. Sorry about everybody, but I have to get slushy because he's there. He had a crap day yesterday. You know when you, your partner's had a crap day and you just want to be, give them a big cuddle and and tell them that you love them and make them feel better. And I couldn't do that. It was it was hard. But your internet is back on, isn't it? Because his internet kept dropping off. Um, so now I love you too. So now it's um, a lot better. Okay. So let's have a look. Okay, for Libra. What's going on this week for you? So this is the 1st of May through to the 9th of May, 2021. Okay, so emotionally, um, you know, each week I do these, there is a, a running theme that's going through. Well, this theme seems to be walking away emotionally, saying I've done, I've had enough. Okay, because this is what's going to be happening um, again. This is so we had this with, I, I can't remember, I I think it was both of them, wasn't it? It was Aquarius and it was Gemini. Um, but Libras are, um, uh, yeah, Libras are doing the same um, because it's basically saying, I have got no more energy to share on the likes of you. Um, so a lot of people out there are getting very sick and tired of people who are saying, yeah, well, I've got to go and get the vax because, um, the, the vaccine because um, everybody's pressuring me and it's like they're wanting you because they know your theories they know that you've done your research they're wanting you to say don't do it and it's getting tiresome now um, because it's like if you want to risk your life off you go then go on then because I've had enough so I don't know how many more people out there are feeling like that now it's like the truth is so so close to everybody there is absolutely nothing more I can do. So if you want to go and do that, then go. Um, so 
um, I think I think this is coming up um, a lot. So emotionally, it's like I'm done. I am done. You know, um, doesn't mean to say we won't be sharing bits and pieces out there, but um, for friends and family, um, it's there's there's nothing more we can do. Um, so um, there is links around your home and there's links around boredom or restlessness. So it could be that it's time for you to, um, you know, try doing something else that's a bit creative, um, you know, doing something that, that in, interests you rather than it could be even that you can't keep looking at the truth of, um, situation anymore that maybe you need to kind of steer away from that and do something else uh, something that is gonna um, you know take your mind off everything so um, I'm seeing some creativity around you guys um, in the beginning of the month Ted Nudgen was talking on his Facebook page about a treatment regime that he has been using for his COVID infection okay Greg makes everyone feel better too. It's true. I just walk away. It's their journey and their choice. All I do is send them love and avoid the topic. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm done now as well, Vera. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh. We can't hide our love, can we, Mr. Prescott? It is what it is. Okay, so around the middle of the week, well, the middle of the week, I wanted to, I wanted to pick up that everything's going to get better and lighter and fabulous. And no, no, it's not what I'm picking up at all. Um, so the middle of the week, I'm picking up that there is um, emotional isolation. It's like trying to um, put your emotions into um, a, a safety bubble so that you don't get any more pain or hurt emotionally. Um, and it's a, there's a feeling of going back into the past and thinking, you know, haven't I done this before? Is this a reoccurring story? Uh, why do I have to keep doing this? Okay. Um, and this will mean that, um, you know, sometimes we have to steer away from, you know, the thought that, the same things happening to you and go more into focusing on the future um, and ignoring the past. So I think what they're trying to say is try not to go down into your emotions, uh, try not to make it go spiraling, okay? Because when it goes spiraling down, you can get so deep um, that you find it difficult to climb back out of. Um, so, you know, maybe it's, it's time just to start to switch off um, you know, the emotional crap and um, go and do something, so go and do something that takes your mind off it. Now, I know that Greg likes to go down to the beach. Maybe you haven't got a beach near you. Maybe go for a walk in the woods. Um, go to see your grandchildren or your children. Um, do something that, that, you know, take you bring out your inner child even, you know, um, that's what's needed, okay? So, because otherwise I'm seeing you spiraling down, uh, Librans, okay? By the end of the week, everything has turned around by the end of the week. By the end of the week, I'm seeing new money, new energy, new work. Um, I'm then seeing that you're able to look at things from a different angle, everything is brighter. Um, you've literally just literally turned everything around. Uh, so from what was negative to its positive, OK, that's how that's how it is now. Um, there's also a sense of I'm not talking to somebody who I would normally be talking to because I don't want to talk to them anymore. Um, so obviously there's somebody um, around you who has got on your last nerve and um, you're not going to be playing the silly games anymore. And this is going to make you feel so much better when you actually stop the communication. This doesn't mean to say that you're stopping it permanently, but sometimes um, there is a need to just take a step back. Okay, my cat's going a bit bonkers over there. I don't know if you can hear him scratching the head out of my rug. So, yeah. Anyway, um, so anyway, that was for Librans uh, for this week. 
emotional isolation. I know, sorry. Teddy's talking about those medicines and vitamins he has been taking on the advice of his doctors and he feels so much better. Good. When they are together on a date night, it's double whammy and feel good. Oh, that's lovely, Elizabeth. I love that. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I just don't want us to be sickly. You know, when it's kind of like you 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 feel sometimes it's like we're being a bit slushy and it's like, you know, you can hear people go, oh God, we should get a room. Well, we would get a room if we could. <laughs> Until then, you've got to put up with our slush. Isn't that right, Mr. Prescott? Okay, so we're going to do fire. <laughs> I hope Mo doesn't walk on my creaky floorboards. <laughs> it made me laugh today, Mr. Prescott, um, because I was doing a reading for this lovely lady and um, the floorboards went. And I was laughing to myself because I went over and turned on my fan because I was a bit hot. So I turned on my fan and the floorboards went. And I got back and I said, it's making me laugh because Greg teases me about the floorboards. And when I try to creak the floorboards to say it wasn't me, um, they wouldn't work. And he was like, yeah, okay. And now he's blaming it on Mo. So, yeah. It's not me. If it was me, I'd be mortified, absolutely mortified. I really would. So we can do, um, I think the majority of people out there are Leo, the air, the fire signs, aren't they now, I think. So we're gonna do the fire signs. We'll start with Leo, Sagittarius, then Aries. Okay, so we do Leo. <laughs> Sounds just like a fart. It does, but it's not. It's not a fart. I'm a lady. If I did, it would be an accident, and I'd be mortified at an accident as well. Why does it always talk about farting or or um, all sorts of things we talk about? <laughs> talking live about that sort of thing it's not right is it I never heard it once when I was there. <laughs> well it's a new thing with the floorboard there's something going on I'm gonna get my landlord on it yeah so there Hi, Ali. If Ali did that, it wouldn't be called that if it would be called a fluff. It's true, it would be called a fluff. It's true. Yeah. It wouldn't be anything else. Sorry, it's noisy. It's my drink. you can always come in here live i can send you the code mr prescott if you want to come in come say hi to everybody just let me know i think everybody would love to see you only if you wanna uh -huh. Horlicks. Okay, I'll send you the code. All right. Bear bear with me, everybody. That one. That one. Zoom.
just going to send Greg the code. And then yeah, right click link. I have to talk myself through it all. We didn't get to do our date night, did we? Which was a shame because I wasn't well. Mm, where did that go? There we go. Right, there's the code. It's quite a long code, actually. I don't know why. Oh, Angel, I've just um, said. Um, Yes, to the um, friend request, Angel. I'm really sorry about your your nan. She was wonderful, Susie. Loved Susie to bits. Um, sorry for your loss. Oh. You can always come to um, Psychic Development Angel anytime. Um, you know, I do it on a Monday on Zoom at uh, 7.30. Um, 7.30 every Monday in UK time. So I can always send you the code um, to come on to there. You're welcome to. <laughs> it's coming Tuesday. It will have to be a longer date night to make up for the last week. I'm game. <laughs> yeah, I'm game. Oh. Hello, my love. Hi. Hi, darling. I love I'll, you. I'll, I'll see you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, I see, you know, that that was an interesting uh, Libra. Or a scope yeah. Week. Sorry, I wanted yeah. it to be fabulous and wonderful. Yeah, it was. Well, you know, the part about what was it that you said about optimism or ex emotional isolation? That was it. Um, and I, I was thinking exactly what that is because of everything I've been going through with my positions and giving me the runaround. I'm thinking. Yeah it's probably going to happen for a few more days. I felt it too. I didn't want to say anything, but I felt it too. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. saying hello. Elizabeth Badger said hello. Vera said hello. So I guess we're up to Leo right now, right? We are. Hello. We are. Amanda Price said hello. Oh, that's nice. And Brittany, if you're watching, this is for you, my dear. Hey, so, yeah. yeah. Um, just quickly, um, your t-shirts, did I do that right? That your t-shirts are now down to $10? All ladies slim fit t-shirts are $10, all of them, till I sell out. And um, I think there's in total less than a hundred left, um, which, you know, there's six different sizes. So there's probably anywhere from, you know, depending on the size, uh, 10 to, maybe 15, 15 or so on each size. So it's getting down, the stock is getting down on there and uh, got the leg ladies regular fit also um, on there. So I'm starting starting to get the regular fit worked into the inventory as well. Good. So, yeah. yeah, I'm pleased that you said that because I'm not very good at selling your stuff. <laughs> You're not as good at selling your own stuff. No, you're horrible. I, at no, I did really, well. I did really well at the beginning of this. I really did. I uh, promise. I did. I went through everything that I do. Okay. Honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did. So here's here's the plan, and we'll probably talk a little bit more about this on date night. I don't want to take up too much of astrology here, but um, Ellie is planning on coming here 
for a month and I'll be going there for a month and uh, we'll, we'll be spending a couple months together and ultimately I plan on moving out there. So. Can't wait. Can't wait yeah. to have you in my life so that you can witness the floorboards for yourself. Okay. <laughs> sure. It's amazing how your little cat can make a floorboard sound like a fart. That's, that's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you get. I'll let you go on that one. I'll, hey. I'll uh, talk to you a little later. Love you all. You <laughs> All right, darling. All right. Hi, babe. Hi, everyone. Hi. Love you. Oh, that was a lovely surprise, wasn't it? Okay, so we're going to do Leo's. Right. So let's have a look for Leo. So this, um, who else is a Leo out there? Somebody else said there was a Leo. Um, so this is for Brittany as well. So Greg's daughter, Brittany. All right. Right, so I can feel there's a lot of fire around you. Now, I know that you're a fire sign, Leos, but I'm feeling a lot of fire energy around you. And it's like something or someone has annoyed you and I feel as if it's bubbling up, okay? Um, now, you are able at this particular point to, um, to block, okay, and not allow this out. So other people won't know okay, that this is how you're feeling, um, but maybe close people around you might pick it up. Um, I'm sensing that this person who is really annoying you is somebody who's being um, like um, really bossy or lording it over you. I feel as if they're, they're trying to take over, trying to say too much, um, you know, um, critical, that sort of thing. And and I feel that it's it's like um, you feel as if they're, they're being two faced as well. It's like they're either saying stuff to you and saying stuff to other people or being one way to you and one way behind your back. So either way, this is um, it's a double feeling of that. OK, now that won't last very long. OK, I'm sensing that might even be just a day, um, but um, it is something that's going to be quite powerful. OK, and it will for some of you, make you want to um, make some decisions, some long-term decisions because of it. Um, because I don't think that it's a one-off. I think that it's happened before. Um, and this person has been, um, you know, pushing the wrong buttons, okay? I also feel as if for some of you that these buttons are, um, they know exactly what to do as well. Um, okay, so by the middle of the week, um, I'm sensing decorating. For some of you, I'm seeing decorating, wallpapering, um, painting color schemes and, and things like that. I suppose the painting, because they did say painting to me. So I suppose sometimes this can be creative painting maybe, um, but they definitely show me the DIY and painting and moving uh, things around. I'm also seeing large boxes around. So for some of you, that will be new items being delivered. For others of you, that will be moving. Um, there is some sort of, um, I'm seeing putting your name down to some sort of um, a scheme or a project as well. Um, it's like, I don't know, I've always wanted to do that, but I'm going to do it. So it's putting your name down um, and making a um making a plan um it's to do with the future and it's to do with something that you've wanted to do for a while okay um and by the end of the week end of the week you are there is a large amount of money around you um so this to me feels as if you'll know about this large amount of money or you will be aware of it um you've got to go to the You've got to deal with it. So this means as if you've got to do something about it in order for this money to come to you. Um, so this isn't one of those ones where I've picked up before where the money's just going to drift into your life. 
this feels as if it's like it's yours, but you have to do something. Um, you have to apply or um, or venture into into you know at least it's like putting your name down to to win something. That's what it feels like. Or in, make inquirement making inqu inquirements about um, something that you thought you might be entitled to, but you're not sure. So yeah, keep keep your ear to the ground, okay? Because I feel the universe will give you little nudges. Um, about this. Um, you're gonna need to be dealing with an emotional situation because I feel very frustrated, very confused, okay, emotionally. Um, this is to do with a, for some of you it'll be love life, for others of you it'll be friendship or family member, okay? But you know when you've gotta make some emotional choices that whatever choice that you make is gonna upset somebody or gonna do something, you know, to affect other people's lives. Um, but either way, you've still got to make that decision. It's going to be a bit tricky, a bit difficult. Um, but I will say that everything will work out fine um, because, you know, sometimes we need to change things in order for the, um, the energy to flow. Uh, good uh, I'm back <laughs> I don't know how long I froze um, there but um, it was a few seconds I think okay so Vanessa that resonated with you yeah you're a Leo excellent there we go good I'm pleased you enjoyed that so I'm now going to do, um, it will be Sagittarians. Okay. So Sagittarius. <laughs> Try not to let this fall over. There. Okay. Anyone a Sagittarius out there? I've got Sagittarius. I can't remember. Rising? No. Moon, I think. Sagittarius moon. I believe. Hmm. Oh, Elizabeth, you've got dinner time. Enjoy your dinner. Right, okay, so I'm caught up with the messages, I think. I'm a Sagittarius moon. <laughs> okay, I'm Sagittarius moon. Okay, your son Lewis is Sagittarian, Tricia. Aha, this is for him. Okay, so I concentrate on Sagittarian. Yeah, see you Tuesday, Elizabeth. Right, Sagittarian for the first, well, second of uh, May through to the ninth. I need to turn my heat pad down. It's burning my thumb. Okay. Um, hello from Australia, double Libra in here. Oh, welcome, Di. I've already done um, Libra, unfortunately, but if you go back and listen to the uh, recording, um, you'll see it on there. All right, so Sagittarius. Beginning of the week for Sagittarius. So you guys, it's your turn to be naughty, okay? So there's naughty mischievousness um, around you. OK, um, and this can be anything from letting your inner child out, um, doing something that you used to do as a child or enjoying, um, you know, making fun of people, whatever your mischievous is. But that's what you're doing, naughtiness. Um, they're also linking to. Um, this feels as if it's, it's like, you know, when you've got to put up some boundaries 
and um, you've got to say to people, this is okay, but this is not okay. You know, um, I'm, you know, I don't mind this, but don't do that. So it could be that some, for some of you, it will be that you're overstepping the mark maybe with your mischievous naughtiness and you're having to kind of say, um, even to yourself, do you know what, I'm not going to be as, um, I'm not going to go um, past this level of naughtiness. I'm going to be good. Um, or it could be that um, somebody else is telling you, please don't go past this level because I don't like it. Um, whatever level, it's all to do with kind of the boundaries, energies around this naughtiness. Um, there's somebody um, are also around who has got a bit of a sting in their tail. And sometimes they can be a little bit um, defensive. They can be very, um, that they bite. You know, they don't, um, you know, they, they don't, and I don't mean bite in a naughty way, I mean bite as in bite your head off, that sort of thing. Um, because they, they can be, they can, it's like they take things the wrong way, is what I'm trying to say. They take things the wrong way. Um, and sometimes it's like it's not meant that way, but they, they it's like sometimes they enjoy being um, the victim. Okay, sorry. Um, but there's going to be a little bit of that going on the beginning of the week. Okay, so by the middle of the week, um, I feel that you are not going to be putting up with that behaviour for very long, um, because this is you saying, I'm done. Um, didn't I say that there's a running theme going on, and the running theme is, sod you, I've had enough. So uh, this is another of those. But the middle of the week, if this is like you saying, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Um, it's all, I'm, I'm moving on. Um, something to do with your home as well. They're saying that um, around your home life, there seems to be some, um, some issues that they're, they're, too, um, they're too little to worry about. It's like, what is the point of worrying about this sort of thing? What is the point? Um, why do I, I don't want to create a drama here. Um, I just want things to just die down. So I feel that there is, you know, you're just, so for some, for some of you, it's going to be, well, I don't live with anybody. So how can that be? Um, so this could be that this is around your home, or it could be that you want to escape into your home um, and get away from this emotional drama. Okay. Um, Cause when it comes to the hermit card, it can mean, that you, it is around your home or it can mean um, connected. This is why um, doing readings for an individual person is a lot easier than it is for doing a group, group lot of Sagittarius people. Okay, so it's gonna mean various things for various people. Um, now, the boredom card is here. Um, so this says that the drama has been going on for too long. Um, and this is why you've had enough. This is why you can't deal with that anymore. Um, you will feel so much better after you do this, after you make this emotional choice, um, because the cards really start to brighten up now um, towards the end of this week. Um, and um, so that'll be near on the 9th of May, around that time, um, because we've got the, the feeling of celebration of, of, uh, of love, celebration of achievement, emotions, this will also feel as though um, sometimes we have to allow the emotions to get to a certain point so that we can then say enough is enough. Um, for some of you, there's going to be rerouting. Um, I'm, I'm hearing talk about moving away, moving um, into a different location, um, you know, literally. OK, for others of you, this will be I'm moving on as in metaphorically speaking, I'm moving on. Um, the emotional choices have been made by this particular time at the end of the week. Um, you've made your choices, you've decided what it is that you're gonna do, um, and that's it. So it starts off with being mischievous, you see, and it's like either you've been too mischievous and got yourself into trouble, or um, it can be that um, you're trying to lighten the situation by being mischievous maybe. Um, but by the end of the week, we've got celebration of love. For some of you, it will be um, a new love life 
it could be a boost within your existing love life for people who don't have a love life then this could mean you know friendships family members or um feeling the love of other people of uh, people that care about you <clears throat> okay so there you go that's for sagittarius i think it's time for me drugs so dies from australia what time is it in australia I read for a lady in Australia today and it was 7.30 a.m. for her. She wanted a reading at 7.30 a.m. So that was, what time was it for me? That was 10 p.m. for me. So what does that mean for you? I'm no good at maths. Where's Vera? I can't believe you're still up, Vera. You're on American time like me, aren't you? Vera's in the Netherlands, so she's an hour ahead of me. It's quarter to 4 a.m. for me. <clears throat> so we caught to five for her. <laughs> Are you waiting for Aries? I see, it is. It's Aries now. <clears throat> So my son has gone away to stay with his girlfriend's family till Wednesday. He's certainly having fun. Ah. Yeah. <clears throat> 10.37 Eastern time. <laughs> Quarter to 4 a.m. There we go. Right, so I'm going to do the next one now. Couldn't sleep and saw you coming on, so waiting for Aries. <laughs> I see. Aries, so this is for you, Vera. Um, anybody else in Aries out there? Right, Aries, Aries. Okay, so the beginning of the week, would you believe the same card again? Letting go, walking away. Bad enough. Everybody has lost their patience, haven't they? That's really bizarre that there's something all the all the way, every single time. And these three cards have been the same. It's been let go, walk away. It's been I'm bored. I want something to change. And then you've got the home situation. So this is either um, coming back into your home because you've let go and walked away or there's something in your home that you have to let go and walk away from um, because you're bored and you've had enough. So <laughs> I can't believe that the same three cards are coming up each time. Um, but yeah, wow. OK, so that's how your week's starting off the same way as it did with a lot of the other signs. <clears throat> yeah you pulled the four of cups earlier Tricia four of cups yeah I mean that that usually shows doubts um and insecurities and things like that doesn't it oh hi Deb hello Deb okay so I'm going to put some extra cards with them because obviously I can't just keep saying the same thing. Um, people will think, what, what am I doing? So I'm going to add in some stuff. OK, so I'm still going to say the same thing, but I will add in. That's about it. Yeah, Vera, it's I guess it's somewhat about setting up boundaries and stop letting people walk over you. That that is literally everybody. Everybody is feeling the same way. Yeah. OK, so we can't get away from it. 
this is Aries, isn't it? Okay, right, so I can't say any more about that, um, about the letting go, and, and I'm, I'm done, okay? Um, there's a whirlpool of emotions that is rising up, okay, inside you. Um, and all that you can do from that point is to say, sod it. Um, I'm just going to do my own thing. Um, let everybody get on with it. So once again, I feel as if I'm picking up the same thing, which is, um, you know, if people aren't going to be listening to um, the truth the energy, if people feel as if they know best, it's like, well, go on then. Um, sometimes I think, you know, to keep, to keep trying to, I mean, literally you're trying to save somebody's life or you're trying to, trying to save the fact that they're going on a roulette wheel every single time they take one of those prick things. Um, each time, each time that happens, it's like a roulette wheel and it's like, what is going to happen? Where is it going to fall on? Is you know, because even if you aren't having symptoms now, there could be other symptoms later, such as the worst. Um, I have put something on my Facebook, which is very interesting because it's how to see the absolute truth from the CDC um, on the, um, it's called the VAERS report, which is V-A-E-R-S, the VAERS report. And you can literally go to that report and there's a lady who shows you exactly how to do it. And it basically lists every single death that's happened through the COVID jabs. It's listed there um, and she's literally reading them all out um, or reading a, lot, reading a lot of them out. And um, it's, it has to be put on there, all of the, all of the reports that have happened. And for just April, there are pages and pages and pages of them, of people that have actually died. Do you see what I mean? This isn't just one or two. This is lots of people. So um, I, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to put it out there. And then if anybody else. So I, that's what I think is going on. For a lot of the truthers, a lot of the people for, in 5D, the, their eyes are wide open and they do know what's going on. Uh, for anybody else, um, it's like who are still closed. It's like I'm done. Do it. Go go on then. Go and line up and get yours then. Off you go. Unfortunately, my auntie, my lovely auntie Annette, had it done, and she's been ill ever since. I'm really worried about her. So, anyhow, that's what I think is going on. This is what I'm picking up. My vibe is picking up this from nearly every well every single. Um, birth sign so far up until this um i've picked up on um so yeah it's like you're you're going to say you're gonna you're done by the middle of um by the middle of this week for aries um there's emotional celebration it's like i'm achieve i can achieve anything i want um you're feeling on top of the world you know, you've gone from kind of letting go. It could be it's going to be a relief for you to let go and not care so much and not worry so much and not take it all on board. You know, it's like as soon as we kind of like throw our hands up and go, I'm done. Um, actually, that might be a weight lifted off your shoulders. Um, in conversation, there's going to be lots of conversations about people moving or wanting to move. OK, people will be talking to you about it or you'll be talking to them about it. Um, and it's it's all linked with emotionally um, feeling as though something's got to change. I've got to make some choices and some decisions in my life. Um, now is the time I'm feeling good about this. Um, so it's all it's linked with positivity. The moving is linked with positivity or there is a positive outcome to it. Um, to the moving, okay? Um, the most sarcastic card in the deck is here by the end of the week for Aries, um, because we've got the uh, deal with it. And who said that they picked the four of cups? So we've got the four of cups as well, which is I've got doubts about something. I'm, I'm doubting um, a situation. And 
the fact that I'm, I'm picking up that there is somebody who you're having a conversation with on a deep emotional level. So that's a friend, family member or partner. And they are being defensive or they are lying. OK, you catch them out at lying or they're being defensive. This is going to it's going to there's flags. Does that make sense that are coming up? I'm flagging that because that doesn't feel right. Or, you know, they've not done that before. Or the last time they did that, they were doing something they shouldn't be doing. Um, so there's going to be a few question marks that are going to be flying up in the air. Um, and that is because of, um, you know, a person who you're asking them questions. They aren't giving you the answers to this and they're being very um, defensive when you're questioning things. Um, so there's a lot of that going on. And this sarcasm energy is I'm just going to deal with this. I'm going to deal with it head on. I'm going to ask those questions. I'm not going to back down just because they're being vague doesn't mean to say I'll just ask it in a different way. Um, so it's all about being clever and and uh, and uh, clued up um, to get the answers that you actually deserve and answers that you need. Um, try not to stay in the worry energy. You know, this is the most sarcastic saying deal with it. Um, it is time to deal with it. There you go. That's what I see for Aries. Yeah, truth is our feelings stalled. Got to love everyone where they are um, at, where they're at, free will. It's true. I feel that big time. I do care too much for anyone I know, no matter where they live. It's true. Um, I've changed my path a huge amount of times, like full 180 turns. So yes, free will can and will change everything. It is true. It's very difficult to come to that decision when it's somebody that you love and they're about to go and do something that could potentially get them killed. Very difficult to step back and say, do it then. Um, and you can see families are just falling out with other members of family as well. Um, you, you know, I'm, I'm seeing it a lot when I'm reading the cards. Um, it's causing that rift. So soon as the truth comes out it's going to be so much better isn't it imagine the celebrations of family at that point mm. okay so we've done that so now we're going to do taurus taurus then virgo then capricorn okay For us. Do you like my little? Isn't it good? Oh dear. I'm sad really. Me and my little um, quirky things I do. What's everybody saying? Unfortunately, Severa said, unfortunately, some heartbreaking casualties, but I think it's also about would you interact with them the same way on a day to day real life basis. Yeah. I totally understand that, Ali. It's so hard to see people make choice make the not too wise choices. Sure is my children both chose the jab. I'm not sure if my daughter has or not. She said she was going to what she's thinking of. Yeah. It's so uh, upsetting. Has anybody heard of it sterilizing kind of people? Has any, anybody heard this? I'm not sure, or is there any proof of this, should I say? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to Taurus now. Okay, Taurus. So. For us for the first or the second of May through to the 9th of May. Okay. 
you can see I really shuffled them. So if it comes out again, it's meant to. And we've got a few different cards now. Exact amount of cards, nine cards. Trisha said, I heard a doctor in Idaho, is it Idaho? I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, saying it affects the placenta and explains why. Wow. Okay. So, um, beginning of the week for Taurus. So I'm seeing, seeing a very funny character um, around. I'm, I'm hearing them, you know, saying those quick one-liners. Um, you know, even somebody who doesn't have to say anything, it's just a look that they give um, can really um, creep people up around them. Um, I'm sensing this sort of character energy. Um, there's also um, an something that doesn't want to be said that somebody doesn't want want to hear um a certain certain thing it's like they're closing their ears off um and it's so i suppose it's very similar to what we what we just was talking about really but it's um in a roundabout way it's my nine of swords but if you have a look all these swords are coming at them you can see he's got his hands over his ears there and all these swords are coming at him and he's thinking I don't want to know. I don't want to hear it. You know, I'm I'm done. So, um, you know, this funny person will either try and get through to you, or maybe you're that funny person trying to get through to someone else, but they aren't listening, or you're not listening to them. This is going to be a bit of a challenge, and you know, when you you need to get your point across, but you don't want to come across as being heavy, or you don't want somebody else to to give you that heavy talk um so there's something happening around that feels kind of um a bit weighty um emotionally um there is going to be some discussions and talks about going abroad okay for you guys um to be around uh the middle of this week this next week coming up um because it feels as if it, it's like I, I'm planning to go abroad or I want to go abroad. And there's a feeling of um, either being rejected or a feeling of, you know, having to stop something or cancel something or I can't go now or there seems to be something going on with that. Um, some travel plans interrupted, um, having to rethink things. Um, there's, a, there's a, an energy of isolation, trying to isolate your emotions, trying to um, be more sensible. You know, not, um, you know, I can't, um, you know, let's be sensible, we can't do this, or this is the wrong time or something like that. So yeah, I feel as if it's something to do with dates and it's something to do with travel and it's to do with rearranging things, okay? I'm seeing that the middle of the week. Um, also, um, somebody from your past is, is coming back into your life. Um, somebody who you had um, distanced yourself from and they distanced themselves from you. This doesn't mean that you had to fall out. It can just mean that, um, you know, you might not have been um, on the same wavelengths, you know. Sometimes this is happening with, um, with people. Um, because they, you know, they don't understand your point of view, you don't understand theirs. Um, but there is this kind of reconnection happening, um, which is going to feel really good um, around the end of the week. It does feel as if you've got to, um, there's some massive changes going on, and you're having to prepare yourself for these massive changes, ending of, of this way of life, beginning of another. Um, so there's massive um, clearance changes. Um, there's also um, links with, with um, show me, for some people it's going to be DIY and decorating and changes. For others of you, it will be getting ready to move. Okay, so um, 
for some some of you yeah it's moving some of you it's decorating and diy um but the life-changing energy is really clear at this particular time um because it feels as if you you're shifting from this is the way my life was and this is how it's going to be now then there's the reconnection with somebody from your past it's a bit like your life was going in this direction and you maybe believed this and then all of a sudden there's a change of energy and you now don't believe what you did believe and you believe this so there's a change of of knowledge i feel going on uh, quite strongly for taurians um, at the end of the week um yeah i just need to turn a couple more over just to finish this off um somebody in authority is going to be seen to be making some um you know when there's cock-ups and they are being shown um people are acknowledging what mistakes have been have been um have been seen what mistakes something to do with i feel as if this is a global message that there there will be um the truth is coming out with um, a big corporation energy they will be seen to be to have been lying or not being honest um no shocker there but it will be coming out um in the mainstream media which will be a shock I'm seeing a jaw-dropping uh, shock. you're muted somehow you can't hear it's the microphone there you are you're back okay what did you get to somehow you can't hear it happened just a few minutes ago so I was given a prediction that was coming about mainstream media. Did you yeah, hear it? Part of it. And that's where you cut out. How timely, huh? Okay. okay. Yeah, isn't it? Let's go. Yeah, thank you, Don. Um, yeah, so it's definitely going to be, it's like they're given an ultimatum and either they start trickling through the truth or they're going to be taken off air. So that's the message I got. So. Hmm, interesting. But there's definitely something massive going on in July. I keep picking it up in people's cards as I'm doing them. Um, so yeah, July is going to be very important. Yeah. Oh, sorry about the sound. So Vera says, I think some of the brands of, of jabs could have a sterilizing effect and when you think about them wanting to decrease the population it would be a logical thing i can find the speech i will send it to you it was good oh yeah about the um the doctor who said the placenta how it affects the placenta yeah 
um guys out there we've you know sometimes you you get something really really juicy really good information um what we've done is we started off a um a truth is information um chat thing um on facebook so if anybody wants me to add them to that if they get some good stuff you are welcome to just let me know and i'll just add you to it um so yes yeah, it's, it's stuff that you can't actually put on facebook pages even though i try to anyway um but if you wanted to um there's only a few of us on there um me greg my mum um and there's about five others so it's not huge um i'd like it to be because i'd like everybody to be sharing their information on there so yeah it's called the truthers um information uh, group okay good save from greg <laughs> i know <laughs> it's probably because i'm speaking so much about my conspiracy side of things or truth is should i say it's probably why okay it's going to do virgo okay so virgos let's have a look and see what's going on with virgos hello deborah hello welcome what birth sign are you deborah Right, you're giving them a really good shuffle again. Okay, so Virgo's from the, the second for me, it's the second of May. Some of you, it's the first, um, through to the 9th of May 2021. Virgo's. Right. Capricorn. I haven't done Capricorn, so. I'll be doing that after this one. Right. Okay. Okay. So um, there's a celebration um, around um, Virgos. And you know, when you are celebrating, but there are other people around you who are not happy. So you're having to um, stifle your celebration um, because you don't want to upset them, okay? Or they're in a sad energy and you are in a good energy. So it's it's all about kind of people being at different different phases of emotions um, and everyone trying to please each other. Um, there is a few kind of questions that are coming up um at the beginning of the week um and it is all to do with the fact that you've got to deal with the situation um linked with emotions that um has to be dealt with um as soon as possible um and this is linked to um family it's linked with family um it's linked with um a bit of a dr dramatic situation that has unfolded and as much as you're trying to um, keep out of the drama, I feel that you're being drawn into it anyway. Um, so you're trying to stay buoyant and happy and enjoy uh, what's going on, the situation in your own life, um, but you're being drawn into other drama as well. Okay, so this is linked. So the drama could be friendships, family, love life. Okay, because it's an emotional situation um, and there's definitely, um, links around a pregnancy as well. There could be a pregnancy um, um, announcement. Um, this will be at the beginning of this next week, okay, around Librans. So, sorry, sorry, Virgos. It's not necessarily close uh, to you, like you. Um, it can be um, a, fr a close friend or family member, okay, but it would have to be somebody that you know quite, quite well, okay. It wouldn't just be, you know, her who lives three doors down, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, um, so by the middle of the week, middle of the week, um, here we go again. The cards are back. Okay, by the middle of the week, you're gonna be feeling as though I've had enough, I'm walking away, um, I don't wanna play this game anymore, I'm done. Okay, so it's all about kind of letting go of the drama, letting go of, emotional situations that you feel that you can't change anymore 
this is the card that's come up with it, which indicates to do with your spirit guides are trying to tell you something. Your spirit guides are trying to say to you, um, you know, you know what you need to be doing. Um, you know that it's not your fight anymore. OK, so if they if there are people out there um, who still don't understand the truth and it's literally in their faces now, um, there's absolutely nothing you can do. You know, when um, there's a story that goes kind of what they call viral, there's a story that goes viral and um, there's a point where everybody gets to know about it through hearsay, through word of mouth, through somebody talking about it in the supermarket and someone overhearing it to, um, it is now known everywhere that there is a huge flag up about everything, that the mainstream media are not telling the truth, that this is happening, that this is happening, that this is happening. That it literally is widespread, um, the doubt, okay, of um, what we're being um, told. Um, I've also put a good article um, that came out. I mean, it's ages old, but it came out, I think it was in January, it came out that, um, and it was on Sky News, that um, the death counts were not the full, the, the, the death, death counts um, were not real. And they actually admitted it, literally on Sky News, standing outside Downing Street, the reporter said that, the death count, the, if somebody um, is reported to have had COVID and then they got better and then two months later they got then hit by a bus or they died of anything else, it was still put down as COVID. So um, they literally admitted that the death count was not real and was not accurate. That was, the, that was outside Downing Street and that is in January. I've put it on my page today. So um, this is what I'm feeling. This is why I think everybody's got to this stage. This is why this card keeps coming up because it's basically saying, if you don't know now, I can't do anything for you. What, what else can I do? So, um, so yeah, it doesn't mean to say we stop sharing stuff. It doesn't mean to say that, um, you know, because to, to me, information is, is powerful. Um, but I think that that's why all of that is coming up next week. Everybody's going to be kind of going, I'm done now, um, you know, um, get on with it. OK, so by the end of the week, um, by the end of the week, we've got the kind of card that says I need something to get my teeth into. I need a new project. I need a new. Um, it's like something exciting. OK, to to start. Um, and I'm feeling that this will then start, um, 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 it's going to start a, a new fired up um, energy um, that will then take you on into the future. So things that you start at the end of next week will be, will be uh, projects that will, that will always be there with you, that you will never not do anymore. So it might be that you find that you're actually very good medium, that you didn't realize it. It could be that you've decided to start um, crocheting. It could be that you've decided to make whatever. Um, but these skills, it's like there's a breakthrough with your abilities and with your gifts. And the gifts could be craft gifts, as in you're good at making things. It could be your spiritual gifts. It could be that you start a new job and you didn't realize that you're really actually very good at selling. Um, so something like that is going to be coming about um, and you're going to shock yourself. But it is going to be um, it's not something that's just going to fleet in into your life and then go out again. It's something that will stay there. Um, I feel that you're going to be having a spend up as well. You're going to be saying, sorry, I want to uh, spend some money on myself, treat myself to something. Um, and no one's going to tell you off for it because you're not going to allow them to um, because it's, it's my money. I do what I like. So there you go. That's what I see for Virgos. I think new needs sharing. Yeah, it's true. It's very true. Yeah. 
I'd now rather stay away from the truths chat. I stay clear of those types of sites too. It creeps under my skin. I choose to prepare myself and my skills to be ready when all comes out. Yeah, that's good. Patricia's a Virgo rising. Um, that's okay, Deb. That's okay. Have you moved yet, Deb? How's that going? Okay, so we're going to do Taurus, uh, Capricorn now. So, there. Yeah. That way. Capricorn. That's okay, Amanda. My pleasure. I'm sorry I get political, but I can't help it. My guides must be. <laughs> so, there we are. That's how it is. Okay. Okay. Right. So I'm going to give them a really good shuffle. I think I might have to change the deck in a minute. I'll change the deck after this. Okay. I won't apologise for being me. Gobby, potty mouth, Ali. That's who I am. Yeah. You've got heart rate for that. Vera. Oh, thanks, Vera. Okay, so for Capricorns now. So Capricorns, this will be the first or the second, depending on where you live in the world, of May. Um, 2021 to the 9th of May 2021. Okay. Uh, not yet moving, seen not vibrationally lining up at this time. They will apologize for doing it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, big changes starting out, Capricorns. Like new beginning changes. Um, there seems to be a shift in your energy from how things used to be to how things are now and going to continue. So you're definitely kind of not holding back where, um, where change is needing. Okay, so it's a bit like, you know, the... The, uh, the volcano has erupted and now you're left with the aftermath of um, a clean slate. OK, um, this is my new start. OK, what do I want to do? What makes me laugh? Who do I want to be around? Um, where do I want to where do I want to be in a year's time emotionally, financially, um, family wise? Where do I want to be? What what do I need? What are my goals? Um, so there's so many um, it's like you're really fired up, um, Capricorns, um, and you're ready to really build your empire, okay? So whatever empire that is, okay? I'm seeing links with overseas around you, links with abroad, overseas, and you're going to be looking at the future, okay, and making some plans to do with going overseas. Um, I feel quite excited about these plans. Um, I feel that um, it's really, um, it's, it's like you're, there's a magnetism that is magnetizing you to another country, okay? Or to somebody who lives in another country. And, and this, it's, to me, this is happening more often than, than ever now with my readings where people aren't looking at that person is too far away from me or that person you know what's the point of being in a relationship with that person because it's like a long distance thing um i don't know whether um me and greg might have helped that you know because at the end of the day you know we are very far away from each other um you know distance wise but not emotionally um and there's absolutely nothing, as long as both people are honest and open and keep the com communication going, there is absolutely no reason why um, long distance relationships um, can't work. Um, and I'm feeling this um, 
closely around a lot of people now. A lot of people have started up long term relationships. And this is only over the last few months. You know, I'm talking six months uh, since I've been doing the readings for, um, you know, more people worldwide. Um, this is actually becoming, um, I mean, let's face it, it's the before we could travel easily to see anybody, couldn't we? Um, and we took it for granted. Um, now, there's more complications than ever about traveling, and yet people are still starting up uh, relationships, um, you know, with people who don't live anywhere near them, you know, the other side of the world. So, um, we know that in the long term, there is going to be, you won't have to have this jab in order to travel, um, that there are going to be airlines um, that will um, cover other people as well. Um, so, you know, sod's law, it might be that you have to pay an extra 100, 100 quid or something, um, but it's better than um, doing the roulette wheel. Um, so there is talk about a, partic a particular airline um, I don't know what it is, but there's an airline that is thinking of letting people fly without that um, passport. Um, so hang on in there. Don't feel pressured into having it. It is all going to crumble around um, them very soon. Um, I really feel that strongly. Maybe that's what I'm picking up in July. Um, there's going to be a leap of faith coming up around the middle of um the middle of the week, mid middle of next week um, for Capricorns. Um, this is linked with a business plan. So I'm seeing um, maybe two businesses. Um, you know, we can either go in this direction or this direction. Um, and I feel that you'll, you'll, some of you will just decide to go in both. So this will be um, that you will work in your job job but you'll also do something as well so it's like self-employed and and a job or for some people it will be you're leaving the job to do self-employed um and this will be that leap of faith that you need um and i feel very strongly that um it's like it's all to do with i want to be happy in my everyday life i want to be happy in my job um, there are going to be a few secretive changes um, and some secretive plans that are going on behind the scenes um, with people. Maybe um, if they're in a job, they're kind of behind the scenes thinking, how can I make my skills um, into a job that I can do um, myself um, and I can be my own boss? Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of kind of changes that I'm seeing um, with that. Um, in a good way okay it feels as if it's like now is the time to make that change now is the time to take that leap of faith okay all right so um regarding i just want to say something about self-employment obviously self-employment um you've got to try it so much harder um with your advertising you've got to be on the ball with uh with everything else if you want your your business to grow um, I bet Greg, Greg's kind of sitting there chuckling to himself because um, I'm not so good at it. Um, but um, there's nothing, if you've got that motivation inside you and you believe in the product that you're selling to people, um, then the, your passion and your energy will be a vibration that goes out there to the universe that will then bring in success. So it will all come to you. So um, you just have to put that trust out there sometimes. And I think that's what's happening um, to a lot of you Capricorns around the middle of um, next week. Um, OK, so emotionally sidestepping um, around an emotional situation that you feel is dead. It's like it's done. It's done, dusted. There's nothing more that I can do. It's like um, there's it's like. Um, Whichever way I, whichever way I'm trying to break down these barriers, there's another barrier in its way. There's another problem. There's another situation. All of these things, it's like I can't do anymore. Um, so again, once again, it probably feels as if it's like I'm ha I've had enough. Um, but 
this doesn't feel as if it's kind of a generalized giving up. This feels as if it's a personal one. So it's definitely somebody close to you guys, um, Capricorns, who you are, you feel as if there's no future, there's no connection um, with you and them um, anymore. Um, and you, you know, this is this is something that you feel very strongly about. And I feel that you've been walking sideways around this situation, trying not to make this choice and this decision, but it will actually come to it. Um, now, this could be friendship, family member. Um, it could be an acquaintance, somebody who you're working with. So don't automatically think uh, the worst that I'm picking up on a relationship here. Um, you'll know at the time, obviously. Um, there's a lot of nagging going on and also a lot of gossip. So be careful that there's not too much interference from other people who are trying to change your mind or trying to put words in your mouth or put decisions in your mind. Um, make sure that this is your decision and you know, make sure that you're actually ready to make this decision because I feel as if this gossip energy isn't, it, I think you need, make, if it's not in neon lights for you, in your heart, try not to make any decision yet, okay? Even though you feel as if it's time. If there is somebody around you who is drip feeding you um, kind of energy that you could do without, then be honest with yourself and give yourself a little bit more time without maybe talking to anybody. Um, just, you know, it's like uh, cocoon yourself in to your emotions, maybe steer away from everybody and give it lots more thought before you do anything about it, if there are other people involved, okay? Um, that's kind of advice from spirit there for you. Okay, so that's Capricorns. Um, oh, what's this? Some stuff here. Um, you be you. No, not yet moving. Seems seem not vibrationally lining up at this time. Never apologize for doing you. Tried staying to the end, but my eyelids are <laughs> winning. Good night. Good night, Vera, darling. Uh, twin flame in UK. He told me not to come. Oh, not to come. Where? Not to come to UK. UK is, is hard at the moment. It's, it's crazy energy at the moment here in the UK. Um, yeah, it is about to break. I know it is, but at the moment, Boris is just a, being a complete knob. Um, yeah. I used to think he was one of the good guys. So, did, so Nigel Farage, I used to think he was a good guy until he was all for the um, passport vaccines. I couldn't believe it. I actually wrote to him, Nigel Farage, and I said, I had a lot of faith in you um, with UKIP and everything. I, you were one politician that I really trusted, but you've gone to the dark side as far as I'm concerned um, by, by saying that. So there you go. Um, oh, Deborah, do what you feel. It's a nice place. <laughs> Not yeah, it's a nice place over here. Um, it's beautiful. I mean, there's lots of lovely places to visit. Um, when Greg came over, we um, took him to Glastonbury and it was it was just lovely. Um, Chalice Well. We drove past um, Stonehenge. We didn't actually go there. And we tried to look at the, what was the stones? Greg, can you remember? What was the stones we went and it was too too long a walk for me. I just couldn't do it. I can't remember. Avery, was it Avery stones? I think. Yeah, um, we just had to take a picture of them behind us. But when we drove to go home, we were like nearly passing them. Um, yeah, so there's lots of lovely historical places. So if you want to come, Deborah, just come. That's what I say. Um, right, okay, so we've done Capricorn. Right, so we've, we've got the last ones now. So we've got um, 
Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer. So, um, Pis uh, Scorpio is my daughter, Rhiannon, who's just had a little baby, little Esme. I'm seeing her tomorrow. I can have a squidge. Can't wait to see him. And then you've got Olivia, which is um, the big sister, who's two. That's Olivia. And then um, Cancer is my Megan. Um, and she's got three as well. She's got Logan and uh, she's got Hallie and um, Isla. So I'm going to see all of them tomorrow. I can't believe it. So all five. And I'm going to have cuddles with all of them. Yep. And I love it. I'm going to be a big kid. Can't wait. Mum's cooking dinner. So it's nice. Family is everything, isn't it? Yeah, of course, Deborah. Um, it's easier to go to the website, um, psychicalley.net. And um, yeah, I can do a proper reading there. I can look into what whatever questions you've got. Yeah, of course. There's a lot of water in our family. <laughs> yeah, because I'm Pisces and so is my mum. So um, we've got all of them. <laughs> so... You miss your grandkids. Are they far away, your grandchildren? Deborah. Right, so um, Scorpio, this is for my Rhiannon. Okay. Right, Scorpio. Scorpio out there or have you got make sure that you're looking up your um sun moon and rising make sure you look all of those um up um just go on to um, google or whatever and just put what is my sun moon and rising and then it will give you a, a grid and you just write down your location of birth time and uh, day of your birth and it will tell you what, what your sun moon and rising is so you should be looking at three of them um reg only looks needs to look at one because he's a triple libra i've got libra moon sagittarius no yeah, libra rising sagittarius moon and pisces sun okay so scorpio Okay, 1st or 2nd of May through to 9th. Okay. You've got massive changes going on with you, Scorpios. Beginning of this week is going to be substantially um, massive. Okay. Um, we've got the star, though. The star is all about hopes and dreams. It's all about following your wishes. Um, making sure that um, you are uh, being true to yourself, okay, and feeling excited about your own adventures. Um, we've got the new beginnings card, which means that you are sweeping away the old and going on to the new. It's like, well, that was then, this is now, this is what I want now. Um, and, you know, if things are changing, changing, you, you, it's like you're changing with them. Um, you're not holding back. Um, I'm hearing congratulations or well done or happy birthday or some sort of celebrations um, around you, Scorpio. So um, you're going to be feeling very, very chuffed and very happy um, at this time. There's obviously some uh, big, massive, massive um, you know, changes in, in your life, but also around you and around your family. OK, um, because I'm seeing either party or celebration. Okay. Um, the middle of um, the week um, is the most sarcastic card. It means that you are having to um, go into issues that you know that you have to. It's like uncomfortable situations that you cannot avoid anymore. Um, 
and there is going to be some um, firm discussions about your home, your home life, how you know what you're doing at home. Um, is there anywhere that feels cluttered to you or do you need new furniture so that you can get more organized? Um, are you um, needing to rearrange you know furniture or rearrange um, you know people that live in your home? Um, making some different decisions regarding that. So it's all to do with your home and it's all to do with kind of energies. Um, there is somebody who is somebody in authority around you, somebody who can be a little bit bossy. OK, this bossy, bossy, bossy person um, is linking to needing um, to change things, needing things to be different. Um, this will feel as though um, you'd rather not deal with it because this person um, can appear to be a little bit daunting. Um, this person, it could be a person in authority. So that could be a boss like person, a bossy person, somebody who can be intimidating. Um, but it is, I've, I know that I've got to deal with this. Um, this is the right thing to do. Now for others of you, this will be moving um, and changes. This will be looking at a way of moving, a way of um, changing locations. Okay, moving could be work moving, um, business moving as well. Um, also, um, there's a few battles. I'm seeing you in the middle of a battle between two people. Um, one person is um, somebody who thinks about business, thinks about work. Um, they think about, you know, their material side of work. They want to be self-employed or they are self-employed, climbing up the ladder of success and really emerging and going for it. Um, and the other person this person is battling with is somebody who's a plodder. They, they carry on. Um, every day is the same. Um, you know, they're happy to do their bit, you know, everything. It's like they've got a set routine, set pattern, and they don't like change. This person doesn't like change. So you're in the middle of these two people and you're wanting to separate and say, just agree to be different. It doesn't, you don't have to get on. You just have to kind of just calm it down. Um, but this is going to feel a little bit, um, you know, oppressive, okay, around you and you want an easy life. OK, I'm seeing a meeting as well coming up. I'm seeing a desk and two people. So this is either an interview or a meeting. Um, and there's also a sense of um, emotionally, um, you know, feeling a bit emotional after this meeting. Um, but I'm not going to back down. I'm going to stand my ground and nobody's going to bully me um, into doing anything I don't want to do. Um, so that's at the end of the week. I know what that is in Rhea's situation because um, because she said that she doesn't because she just had a baby and she said that she doesn't want to um, she doesn't want a mid she doesn't want um, a health worker health visitor um, because the health visitor is just going to push her to get the baby um, you know in, injected. Um, with all these different kind of vaccines and things like that. And she doesn't want it. She's she's done her research and she's kind of said, I'm just not doing it. And she doesn't want to have to keep saying no and explaining herself all the time. So, um, and she's quite capable. I mean, this little baby, she's a breastfed baby and um, no, no baby gains weight usually, especially not breastfeed, but breastfed babies. Um, her baby, the first week, um, put on a pound and every week is putting on a pound um, and that is good for um, for babies so she's doing a marvellous job um, she's coping really really well she doesn't need a health visitor um, you know she's got a very good midwife and she's got the doctor she doesn't need so anyway I know that is probably pressure for her so um, meeting feeling tearful because she's obviously got to stand up for herself and that one is the standing up for herself so I think that's what that is um, for her, but it's going to be something else for you guys. So, um, you know, that was for Scorpio. There we go. Um, it's 
midnight. No, it's not midnight. It is um, quarter to five or just past half past four a.m. here in the UK, Deborah. <laughs> yeah. So Trisha said, I grew up with all earth signs. I was the odd one out. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's difficult, isn't it? When if you, I don't know what you were or what you are, I, d I don't know. Um, Earth signs are very practical people, aren't they? Um, yes. Okay, so we're going to do Pisces now. This is for me and my mum um, and for any other Pisces. Okay, so who's Pisces out there? Right, Pisces, Pisces. Right. Okay, so it's going to be um, a lot of financial decisions will be made, and it's about spending money or not spending money. Um, and this will be um, being spoken about and sorted out um around you guys at this time um it's like i've got to make some choices it's like you've got this amount of money and you've got to decide what you're going to do with it where you're going to spend it who needs what um because it's it's the i'm seeing the juggling and i'm seeing the money the money doesn't seem to be too bad though it does feel as if there is um a lot of a lot of good feeling okay and it's like the money is there for you to look after yourself um it's not a bad thing um and yeah it feels as if it's like um you know when your bills are being paid or you're able to pay your bills you're able to then you've got a little bit more money to juggle about and it could be that after you've just paid that one then you've got enough money to treat yourself to this so that's what I'm seeing by juggling of money. I know everybody does that every single week, probably. Um, but the juggle of money, the extra money, is definitely linked to buying yourself something extra, something that you would normally not treat yourself to. Um, OK, I feel that there is um, something to do with either health or, um, or emotional kind of, you know, when you feel a bit low. Now, I never predict. Um, new health matters. So this would be have to, unless it's a cold or a cough or something silly, um, then this would be an existing situation. But it's where there's an exhaustion or a feeling of I can't do this anymore. I'm I'm done in. Um, so there's going to be this kind of um, this kind of feeling um, of needing to rest up, needing to put your feet up. Um, it could be, obviously, we never know who's playing the lead role. Maybe it's someone else around you who needs you to look after them. OK, so it could well be that. Um, everything's a bit on hold, OK, regarding a plan for the future linked with emotions, linked with love, linked with um, relationships, linked with a celebration. I know what this is, Mr Prescott. Um, so we've got the hangman, which is everything that's upside down in waiting, pending. We've then got um, plans that we want to do something. And then we've got the three of cups, which is celebration um, of relationships. So that's the whole wedding, isn't it? It's like everything's on hold again. Everything's upside down and having to um, wait to, to decide what's happening. So there seems to be a bit of frustration, a bit of anger um, around the situation. Um, you know, we always try, I know, just put sigh there. Um, we always try to keep um, keep positive. We always try to say, well, it will be in the, when, in the best time when it's supposed to be. You know, we, we do try, um, but we are human. And, you know, we do have disappointments as well. Um, and I think that we've we've been through a lot of it already. Um, so yeah, so I can see our frustration coming out for 
obviously for other Pisces is going to be linked around you and what you feel at this time. Um, but the celebration of love and the um, everything's upside down, having to look at things from a different angle um, and plans. So I do feel that there will be some new plans set in place. Um, so there will be a change of, of direction or change of timing. OK, so I do feel that there, um, the June um, situation, uh, the June choices will be more future. OK, it's going to push on past that. That's that's what I'm predicting. Um, so it will be upsetting. Um, and um, there is a um, it's like I want to be selfish and I want to do something for myself and I want to I want to have it all I want this I want this and I want this um, and uh, and why not why why shouldn't we feel as if we can have it all um, you know isn't that a human human thing um, so relationship is still strong okay to do with Pisces uh, we've still got the lovers card although there have been some complications um, it is a challenge, okay, it's a challenge um, to overcome these complications and to still come about um, smiling and it will all be fine because we've got the world card, everything is going, everything is turning out the best way possible, so it's obviously there's a bigger reason for what's going on and we both talked about that um, and for everybody else you'll understand that whatever is happening Whatever delays are happening in your life, uh, whatever you're going through, there's a bigger plan and the bigger plan will all um, manifest the way it's supposed to. So there you go. That is for Pisces. Yeah, it will all work out, Mr. Prescott. Okay, so. Once again, I need a drink. I have to keep drinking hot drinks while I do these because otherwise my throat goes. So sorry, chat amongst, amongst yourselves. It's going to be Cancerian. Let me take that down for a minute. It's not there yet. Okay. So Lisa said she's got a sun and moon in Pisces. Ah, oh, Lisa, did you get your bits yet? You probably haven't. Did you get your raffle? Because Lisa was one of the raffle winners before. Um, just to let everybody know, we've got the new raffle going. Um, we've got a few names already down on the raffle. It is for the two crystal balls. Um, Oh my giddy, I can't find any more water. That might give me one drink. Throw that over there. You know, it's a good job. Me, <laughs> me, and, me and Greg are messy buggers. Um, so when we live together, it's going to be very... Um, we're going to need... We're going to need, need a cleaner three times a week <laughs> to tidy up our oh, crap. So, Lisa, you got the dragon bracelet. Oh, you got it. Good. It's going to bring you good luck. It really will. It'll bring you good luck. I put some special energy into it as well. So... And the dragon stone, yes, you've got the dragon stone as well. Always try and put in little extra bits in, in with the, um, in with that. Does anybody in the group fancy me picking them a little daily reading just while I make a drink? I'm going to be selling these little packets of, uh, of read of like da daily readings, so. Who's in the chat? Who should we pick on? This is for you, Lisa. 
little daily reading for you. Okay, so this is a message, ready? It says, I hear someone saying, I want it now, and is acting like a spoiled child. But this may be because finally they honor themselves. Maybe they feel they deserve more out of life now, or maybe they are a child throwing their toys out of their pram because they want it now. So that was a little message for you. Trisha, for you. Trisha, this is yours. Okay, time to be strong and break free from the shackles that you or someone close to you has put you upon, put upon you. You can do this. Uh, you only need to believe in yourself. So break the shackles that have bound you, Tricia. Anyone else want a little daily reading while I make my drink? Amanda, yeah, of course. This is yours, Amanda. Let me just make a drink. <laughs> you understand that, Tricia? Ooh. Okay, so this was yours, Amanda. I see someone sulking as they're not getting what they want from a situation um, that they or you are in. Sulking won't work. Maybe a plan is needed instead. So there you go, Amanda, that is for you. I'm gonna do one for Greg, it's for you, Greg, it's for you. Here we are. Greg, you are juggling finances and becoming more creative in your plans to be even more stable. Keep saying to yourself, I have abundance in every area of my life and you will have more and more abundance. Yeah. One for me. This is for me. If anybody's watching this um, later on and want me to pick one of these, then just send me a message. Um, you'll have to inbox me just in case I don't see it. So uh, you will be meeting someone very important to your future. This could be a romantic connection or a friend acquaintance. Either way, you will find out why they will be really important in your life. Well, I hope it's not romantic, my love, because um, you are my romance. So that has to be an important person or a friend acquaintance. So, yeah, I'll go for a friend acquaintance, say, eh? not, um, not love life. <laughs> I'm taken. <laughs> I haven't had anybody hit on me for a while, which is really nice. I think people have finally got it because they don't care, do they, men? They just don't care. They're always still trying to, you know. Very happily taken, I am. Very, very happy. Okay, so this is Cancerians. Okay. Cancerians, Cancerians, Cancerians. All right. So for Cancerians, this is my other daughter, Megan. Okay. Um, I'm seeing around you, um, somebody will be talking to you or um, expressing um, links around religion, religious energy. Um, 
And I feel that you want to break away from this um, because it's like I want to break free from religion. Um, it could be that, you know, you you're finding out the difference between spiritual and religious. Um, sometimes it's about the belief. OK, what you know, you have beliefs rather than you have a religion. Uh, religion seems to have guidelines and set kind of boxes. Do you see what I mean? And um, and you know, this is the rules, and this is how you need to live linked with these rules. Uh, spiritually, it's got no rules really, apart from love. Um, and I feel that there's going to be a decision or a choice linking to um, this um, around the beginning of the week for you. Um, there's definitely some more work that needs to be done in the house. It feels as if there has been um, some sort of unsettled feelings or un unsettled um, um, situations that need to be addressed. And I feel that this will then lead to sorting out things in the home. So has there been um, some sort of nag or somebody nagging um, about the home and this turning into an emotional um, eruption or emotional situation. So, um, you know, it can be that, you know, you want maybe a landlord to do something um, in your home and they are not. Um, it could be that you have been nagging your partner to do it, or it could be that you are nagging yourself to do it. Um, either way, it's um, there seems to be some disruption um, and breaking free energy um, linked with home. Okay, so around the middle of this week for Cancerians, um, deciding to be mischievous, deciding to be naughty, um, deciding that this is the time to let your hair down, to not um, follow the rules. Maybe that's what they meant in the beginning. It's like um, somebody wants you to follow the rules and you're not able to. Um, maybe you don't want to, or you don't feel comfortable with the rules that are being given, okay, and you're kind of pushing out those boundaries, breaking the chains. Um, there is links around, um, you know, I've got all the tools to make something work or not. Um, it's saying that, you know, you can have anything you want, okay, it's like your guides are there with you saying, we are beside you, um, all your loved ones, we are beside you, where do you want to go? How far do you want to spread your wings? Um, you know, make sure that you you make your plans. Make sure that you think a year ahead, two years, three years. Your guides sometimes for bigger plans and bigger wishes and bigger affirmations, they need you to tell them well in advance, okay, um, so that they can start planning now, so that they can do the stepping stones that lead up to that big, uh, project or that big um, big wish. Um, so this is a message for everybody really, don't think small, um, don't think that how am I going to ever get from here to here because the universal energy will make it happen and don't think small, think big, what will make you happy, what is it that you want, what are you craving that you haven't got in your life now, um, it's like it's time to Rejoice in that energy and um, and, you know, and enjoy the fact that, you know, you've got these this team of spiritual helpers that can't wait to help you, that can't wait to be there for you. Um, because I feel that life has been a little bit boring recently and you couldn't see where you were going. And it's like, you know, now's the time um, that everything has cleared. And it's like, oh, that's it. That's what I want. That's the direction I'm going to go in. And um, there seems to be some sort of training, learning or development um, around the end of the week. It's like you've decided to teach yourself something, sign up for a course or, um, you know, teach yourself something on YouTube or, or um, you know, put yourself down for a workshop or a um, webinar or, or something. I can I can feel this. Um, the two of pentacles indicates um, that stepping forward, that taking that, that first step onto a new pathway. 
feeling a little bit nervous about it, but knowing it's something that you really want to do. Um, there is this boundary that you have, though. Um, so it could be that there are obstacles as to why you can't go as far as you want to. But this is what they're saying to you about this future. So please don't see the obstacles. Um, give them the wishes and the desires and everything that you want. Give them all of that. Um, and, and then say, it's over to you guys. Please bring me this. Please, you know, set me the stepping stones so that I, stepping stones so that I know where I'm going um, and what I'm doing. I mean, stepping stones, and then I've got this card. It's just um, quite funny. That's stepping stones. Do you see what I mean? So you are able to, to do this. Um, be a perfectionist about how brilliant you want it to be. You know, if you want abundance, don't feel shy about it because it's like um, me and Greg do our affirmations every night. And one of our affirmations is we have financial abundance enough to share. Now, that's a really good affirmation for anybody to use. Um, so you say it three times and you feel every word as if it's real. OK, um, because if you have financial abundance and then you can share some, it means that you have enough for yourself and enough to share. So what um, it's a perfect way of, of asking for more than enough, but not feeling as though, you know, you're um, not feeling greedy, if you like. You're doing it so that you can then share it. What good could you do with money? You know, um, so... So, yeah, don't see the boundaries, see the possibilities um, and start to put those affirmations out there. That's what I feel is going on with with you guys, Cancerians. Um, yeah, positivity going forward. There you go. I got through it. I can't believe it. My ribs have started to hurt, which is the start of that pain that I had with the ambulance thing. So I'm, I'm a bit nervous about that. Um, but I'm gonna Sorry, my microphone stopped working again, so I don't know when it stopped working. Um, yeah, so um, it's astrology. So I did all the astrology signs just now. So I've gone up to Cancerian. So have a look back and uh, see your sign. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go now. But... Um, I'll, um, I'll be back on soon. Like I said, I'm going to start up um, Patreon myself um, because I feel that I've got a lot to offer people who want to be uh, part of my pa Patreon group, um, like free classes and uh, lessons and readings and little gifts and things like that. I've got lots to offer and I'm excited about it. Um, so it's it's all about kind of um, it's the, it's the balance, isn't it, of doing free things, but also doing some things that come, you know, get some money back in. So we've got to be realistic, haven't we? Because we're living in this world, which I mean, I'd do everything for nothing if I could. Um, but you can't, can you? So so yeah. So that's basically my story. Um, Greg, are you there? I'm going to give you a ring when I come off here, if that's all right. I'll, um, do you want to say goodbye to everybody, if you're there?
So by who's here? By Tricia, by Elaine, by Claire, by Amanda. Sure, that lies up there. It's saying three people, but then there's about five or six people who are messaging. It doesn't make any sense to me. I think they tell porkers. I do. Are you there, Greg? If not, I'm going to go. So love to you all. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow. What's today? Saturday. Is it Saturday today? Saturday today. We're going to be doing um, on Sunday evening um, for UK, which will be 7.30 p.m. Uh, UK, which is 2.30 p.m. Eastern time and 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. Um, we're going to be doing readings. So it's not me doing readings. It will be a lovely lady called Destiny. Um, and she's the one that does my hair, bless her. Um, so she's going to come and do some readings. Uh, she does a little bit of a mixture of uh, mediumship and clairvoyance. So future predictions and spirit contact. It's only five pounds a reading, uh, which works out around seven dollars. Um, so what I'll do in the chat, I will put down, um, you know, how you pay to get a reading uh, tomorrow if you wanted to. These readings are live. Um, so they will be out there, just so you know. Um, it's all to do with people who fear readings and think, you know, all oh, that's um, taboo and everything. The reason why we put it live is so that people can actually see that there's nothing nasty or negative about them. They're full of love. Your loved ones want to come and say hi. Um, you know, no one's forcing anybody. So, so anyway, um, you know, some funny beliefs, isn't there? So, um, so that's that. So there's three on mine. Yeah. So there's 13 people on your screen. So what I mean, you just don't know. So, okay. Um, take care, everybody. Hopefully, see everybody on Sunday or Monday. We have classes. Um, so, if anybody fancies um, joining psychic development class, um, pop along. I think we're doing trance this Monday. So, we're doing trance overshadowing. You don't have to do it if you're a newbie. Um, you can just ask questions to the person who's in trance, or you can just practice the overshadowing. Um, and maybe the transfiguration, which is a face um, overshadowing yours. Um, so um, if anyone wants to join in that as Monday, um, so I'll put all these details down in the chat. Okay, uh, take care everybody. I'll see everybody soon.